Hey guys, Mars Singing here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we're going to jump in and do the burst mode for the Videl event with the Terrifying Conquerors team. Uh, I've already done the one for the Peppy Gals team that's up on the channel already. Um, I'm going to go through pretty much what I said at the beginning of that video but just the shorter version. I imagine you guys have probably seen that one already but if you haven't it's basically the same case of all the burst mode videos. I always try and get the 6,000 points with the two different teams so that you can complete all of the missions regardless of which category you decide to use and then it's very easy to just do the other one um, by jumping back in and turning off all the modifiers. Just use that category team because that's the only mission you have left to do and then that's all the missions done and the second run obviously will be very very easy because you don't have any of the modifiers turned on so for terrifying conquerors as you can see you do get 100 points less than you do for the peppy gals one but with the modifiers that we used from the last run um just by changing them we can still get over 6,000 points i did have to change the uh, team costs because the team is a little bit more expensive this time so as you can see, we are basically getting 120 points less than we did with the Peppy Gals run, but we'll still be able to get the 6,000 points. And we have all the same modifiers on as we did for that video, which if you haven't seen it, Tekken STR type characters, we've got the characters being immune to the stunning attack reduction and defense reduction. I only noticed in the Videl one that there actually isn't the option there for the enemy is immune to sealing. So you can seal uh, Videl. I'm not sure if it's all the phases, but you definitely can in the last phase, which obviously will be super useful if you can bring any characters that do that. Uh, enemy reduces damage received from AGL, which obviously we're not using, so that's fine. Give the enemy damage reduction. Starting from phase three, the enemy's attack increases each turn. Haven't given them any of those attack ups. Uh, we've given them 50% attack, which considering it's a Dokkan event, normally 50% extra attack isn't really a lot. Uh, no extra defense, um, and then they've got a 1,000% extra HP. So it's quite a lot of extra HP, but no extra defense. Um, and then any attacks that would do 100,000 damage or, le or less are reduced to zero. But because we get the points from so many other places, obviously we've got the no items, no support memories, we don't need to have the allies minus key, and we don't need to have the type disadvantage orbs hurt you. So this is the Terrifying Conquerors team that I have put together here. Uh, I'm going to be using ideally Golden Freezer and then the Tech Giant Ape Vegeta as the slot one units. Um, and then essentially just have right, the STR LR coolers go crazy in slot two um, and deal a ton of damage. Uh, the Tech Vegeta and Nappa are good for support. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure if they do even give support, but in slot three, they get extra buffs. They can get some extra attacks. They're actually a pretty solid uh, banner unit. So they make a good addition to the team as well. Um... And yeah, we'll see how we get on. So grab some key, not really necessary. Like if you have the, any of the ally key minus things on in order to get your points up, then obviously you do want to try and prioritize getting key at the beginning. Um, yeah, I guess we can just do this to start with. And then grab these. Grab these for you. But yeah, I talked about it in the first, uh, in the Videl run. So I don't want to like re-go over everything I talked about in that one. Although, of course, I know... Some people might have, you might be watching this one before having seen the Vader, the Peppy Gals run. But let me know what your high score is for the burst mode. I do like the fact that with these newer burst modes, it's very easy to get the 6,000 points. Like it feels like you have to put on way less modifiers to get to the 6,000 points, which then gives you a lot of extra room to put on these extra modifiers if you want to hit a higher score. Um, and we do have a bit of friendly competition going on in the Discord for uh, who can set the highest score on one of these. So uh, do join the Discord and let us know your score, uh, your high score for this burst mode. Post the screenshots and that in there. There's a couple of people that like to take part and set higher scores. I tried one on uh, one of the streams when we had the last one. I think it was for Worldwide. Um, and like with all the modifiers on going for like eight or nine thousand points kind of level um the full run would take like over an hour the stacking units would be getting up to insane numbers like it can be it can be quite fun it's not something that i know everyone has time for especially with like if you're going for the really really high scores it involves you having the damage reduction from your typing it's like obviously for this one as i showed at the beginning we didn't put on the enemy has damage reduction against str or tech types but if we were going for those like really high scores, you would put those on. And then it means your units are obviously doing a lot less damage. So it takes a lot longer to kill 
um, the enemy. So stacking units get a huge benefit from that. I mean, this team would be kind of fun because we have units like the STR Cooler, um, the TUR that can obviously stack a lot. Um, LR Cooler can get out to doing some insane levels of damage as well. Um, so it'd be kind of fun. Any stackers on those sort of team builds get a lot of benefit from uh, having all of those extra turns and extra attacks because it takes so long to kill the enemy. So let me know in the uh, comments down below what your high score is or do go ahead and join the Discord and share your high scores in there. But yeah, definitely feels like getting the 6,000 points minimum now to complete the missions is a lot easier than some of the older ones. I did say, of course, in the first one as well, it is kind of box dependent as well, right? Because if you don't have a very good Terrifying Conqueror's team, then obviously you're limited in terms of like how good that team's going to be for you for this event, right? So it might be a lot easier, or it usually is a lot easier in any case, that whichever your team, whichever team you can build of the two is the strongest, go for the 6,000 points or as high a score as you want to go for with that team. And then, like I said, you can jump back in turn all the modifiers off and then just beat it with the other category team like with all the modifiers turned off it's just a normal dokon event so like for terrifying conquerors i think they're all on there right like because obviously wicked bloodline characters are that all the metal coolers are on there right you could literally probably just use the free to play metal cooler team but yeah it's going to be a lot easier with the modifiers switched off so go for the six thousand points which with, with whichever team is the strongest for you and then you could just grab the other one with no score or as low a score as you would like. Rather, I guess, realistically, there's no point unless you're going for a higher score. There's actually no point having the modifiers on anyway when you do the other one, really. So, but yeah, so we take out this phase. Uh, we are, I think we've got two, yeah, it's this one and then the base form, like short hair for go after this, right? So, grab these. Um... I won't get an 18 key super for you, but that's fine. I mean, the thing is, with the attack modifiers, we've only given them 50%, which, as we said, like, Dokon events are not hard any anymore anyway. For like, I mean, we are running a double 200% lead, like, team. So, Dokon events aren't doing a crazy amount of damage anyway, so 50% extra on top isn't going to suddenly mean, like, you know, in situations like this, oh, no, they've slot one super, so we're getting one shot. Obviously, Freezer is a decent slot one tank, but the tech Golden Freezer, nowhere near as good as the AGL ones, has type disadvantage here. He did actually take some damage, right? We didn't take double digits, but took like 30k. Um, and then most of the units on the team at post super are pretty strong defensively as well. So, cooler with no big bad bosses here, unfortunately. So, not exactly doing crazy damage, but. Getting a bunch of additionals with some crits here to make up for it. There's a dodge as well, let's go. Um, and then, yeah, these guys in slot three can get some uh, decent extra attacks when you have Terrifying Conqueror's allies. So these guys are a solid uh, banner unit for sure. Um, I didn't pull them when they first came out because they were the banner unit for the STR Gohan and Piccolo. So it was quite a while until I actually had them and got to use them and see... Uh, like how good they could actually be so definitely a solid banner unit uh this will be a good turn for cooler we're gonna have the tanking in slot one from the great eight vegia and then cooler's gonna have big bad bosses active and the support from um the tur cooler as well so you should be able to do a pretty solid amount of damage here yeah 15 mil on the 18 key we were talking about it a little while ago, because obviously we're still waiting for Namek, Goku, and Full Power Freezer to get their easy A's, and they were the worldwide celebration before Cooler and Bird Coup, but it means it's a long way away, right? But even so, uh, I can't wait for this guy to get an easy A. STR LR Final Form Cooler was my favourite unit in the game, like when he released. I've always been a huge fan of the design of Final Form Cooler. Um, so I really liked like, the physical one when he came out back in the 120 lead meta. Um, and yeah, when this guy got announced and shown off for worldwide with how good his animations were and everything. And obviously he was a more offense-based character. So people who prefer defense obviously weren't as hyped on him. But he was in argument for being the best unit in the game. I'm pretty sure when I did my 2020 three worldwide... No, it was 2022 now, right? Yeah, because... Zamasu that was last year we've already had the worldwide this year when I did my like 2022 MRs tier list um I put Cooler at number one and Bird Coup at two 
a lot of people had them the other way around because I guess it just depends whether you prefer defensive playstyle or cooler obviously more of a sort of risk reward because even on release like he would have the issue like you could get the 18 key super and then get no additional 12 key supers and then he wouldn't get like he wouldn't have particularly good defense for the turn but the amount of damage that he could put out and if he was getting all of those additional supers his raw defense was very very good i mean considering how hard that event was at the time when it first came out uh, lr str cooler's team was the first team i ever know itemed the cell max event with so because once he got a couple of additionals off like he would tank the attacks from cell max um and yeah cooler was just a super fun unit active skill does loads of damage so like i say a long, long way away i'm sure but definitely looking forward to an easy a for him uh we'll do the active skill here it does give us an action break actually so in terms of for links we're probably better off to do this right oh i say that i mean they will get they will get legendary power as well but link's not exactly uh fantastic there so we'll do that and then we'll just grab those i mean yeah we've got the action break cooler's got 24 key no big bad bosses this turn sadly but we'll still do a decent bit of damage here as well um, but yeah let me know what you guys think of uh, cooler and Boku. they're both kind of outdated at this point but what would you like to see from their easy a's when they do eventually come out uh namek goku and full power freezer we could see their easy a's sometime soon doesn't look like we're getting them as part of this celebration which kind of makes sense i don't know if they've ever dropped big like don't confess their lot easy a's during filler celebrations like for a dual dokon fest um because i know the gobros got their easy a during the turn celebration but um one of the big things they did do of course was for new year a couple of years ago was it they dropped the easy a's for cell and super saiyan 2 gohan um on jp and then we had to wait a little while to get them on global but um they were worldwide celebration like dual headline lrs so I wonder if maybe if we're not getting them now with this current like Namek Saga celebration stuff, they will go ahead and drop those easy A's as part of like the New Year thing, right? With the New Year Jordo Confest. That would certainly be very interesting. Namek Saga's gotten some pretty decent buffs with this celebration, but could always do with some more. So especially like in, in Namek Goku has insane potential. Like he's he was a good unit for quite a while. Um and yeah, his easy A could be super super good i'm very excited to see what that is going to bring so all right so cool freezer should be okay i mean i don't know if he gets supered here i don't know how much damage he would take but we could go ahead i don't want to lose the support i was gonna say we could just go ahead and transform the tur cooler but we'll see okay well we're gonna get supered immediately so we do have the damage reduction still 313k that's still quite a lot so bear in mind like this is what i was like freezer being an older unit like we only gave the dokon event 50 percent extra attack and he's still taking 300k from the super i mean he is very very old but <laughs> i definitely wasn't expecting that much i think that's the most damage we've taken on either run from like an attack uh obviously this team videl is able to be sealed but this team we don't have any um units that can seal pretty sure the cooler duo will finish videl off here though now that cooler's got an additional super here 8.1 mil he's got one bar left oh yeah then he gets another one as well so between this and the tur cooler that should be gg for videl so yeah i mean a little bit surprised uh how much damage freezer took there but I suppose it is understandable as old as he is. And of course, remember with the modifier that we have on, the enemy gets extra attack every turn from the third phase. But there you go. That is the terrifying Conqueror's run to get 6,000 points. Still nice and straightforward. I mean, that run hit was the biggest hit we took and we still obviously lived it. So yeah, very, very straightforward. Terrifying Conqueror's, 6,000 points. And that will be all of the missions completed for the str videl burst mode so as i say let me know uh, either in the comments or do go ahead and join the discord and share your screenshots over there and let us know your highest score in this burst mode regardless of which team it is with peppy gals or terrifying conquerors let us know your high scores over there or just down below in the comment section if you want like i say join the discord regardless be a part of the community whether you want to share burst mode scores in there or not 
But yeah, that is it for the Vidal Burst Mode event. 6,000 points with both teams and all the missions are now done. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.